the past couple of days I've been speaking to senior staff in many of the major multiples in this country about their supply chains. The only product which shops are finding it difficult to source is antibacterial hand gel, uh, alcohol uh, hand gel. That's the only product there is a difficulty with. What happens in situations like this is the retailers see an upturn in demand, and there has been an upturn in demand for some products, uh, non-perishables like pasta, people buying milk, uh, buying toilet roll as well. But what the multiples do is they speak to the suppliers. The reality is this, Brian. Bakeries will remain open. Farmers will milk their cattle every day. They'll bring their animals to the factory to be slaughtered. Meat will not disappear off the shelves. The retailers speak to their suppliers, talk about the increased demand they're likely to have to ensure that product remains on the shelves. If people go out and start stockpiling product, then you do create a difficulty, and there is absolutely no need to do it, according to all the official advice. We've been speaking to sources within Retail Ireland uh, within the past 15 minutes. They met today, they've had a discussion with all of their members, these are the big supermarkets all around the country, to get reassurances on supply chains and they say there is no difficulty around meeting the kind of demand they're likely to see in the coming weeks. So the advice to people is, sure, go do your shopping, get the supplies you need, but there is absolutely no need to stockpile because there is no shortage of food, there is no shortage of the essential items and there is unlikely to be any shortage of that nature in the coming weeks as well. It is an instinctive thing. People tend to want to to bed down if, you know, if the children are off school. But if you shop as normal, there will be no problem. The real difficulty in many industries over the coming days will be hospitality, restaurants, hotels. This afternoon, Brian, there will be a meeting uh, at a government department with hoteliers and restaurateurs to try and figure out how they work the social distancing issues, how things like weddings, large events are handled and the impact on industry. And that is a big concern today, how uh, how the industry, how the hospitality industry, the restaurants, the cafes will cope with what is likely to come in the coming weeks as a result of what Leo Varadkar has announced today. All right, Fran, thank you very much indeed for that.